Hey, what's up guys, Max here, and wanted to make a video since I'm not really participating, or I shouldn't say participating because I did open a few banquet crystals, but competing in the event. Now, maybe a little bit unfair predictions onto what the placement was, but since we were talking about it in my live stream, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I would be doing if I was going to be competing for some of the banquet rank rewards. Now, what are the rank rewards where I'm talking about? It's basically, uh, I probably would never compete myself for a rank one uh, when it comes to placements, just because it's way too expensive. Um, and I just don't have it like that. So, or two or three, but I would definitely be trying to compete into the four to 30 bracket or 31 to 60 bracket. Um, and I'm gonna basically give you some ideas of what I would normally do, kind of like what I would um, do just, yeah, to get into a good placement into these brackets. Now, there's still plenty of time left. There's six days, basically a week remaining uh, for this event to finish. And how do you get points? Basically by purchasing greater banquet crystals and then opening greater banquet crystals. Okay, so the amount of uh, crystals, the points you get for the purchase is 2,100. For opening them is 700. So let's say if you're like a ginormous well and you're just like, hey, you're overflowing on catalysts now or items because you purchased so many and opened so many, you can still get a lot of points by just purchasing them and then sitting on them to be able to open after the event is over. Again, that's if you already like feel like your points are extremely high that you feel like you're gonna be like number one, if not number two or three. But referring to, like I said, if you're going for these smaller brackets, um, four to 30, what I would do, um, obviously one of the first things you would I would wanna do is go on YouTube, search who's doing big openings. You know, Not everybody showcases their openings, of course, on YouTube or social medias and channels and stuff like that. There is the obviously known alliances that are known to have had members that open big openings for when it comes to the banquet event. So I would kind of like either ask if they're competing. Um, obviously, they probably, if they're competing, they're not going to tell you their score, but just say, hey, are you competing in the banquet event? And if they are, then you kind of know already what an idea of where they're at, you know, based off history or based off how they've done in the past. So that's one way of doing it. The next one is going to be going to YouTube, like I said, and actually searching some big openings. Now, I went um, right now. We're actually going to bring them up on stream right now or on a video is uh, I did a quick little search. And here this is Rich. This is not his opening um, as he is fully free to play. But someone sent him an opening of 240 banquet crystals from what I see it on his uh, his channel. Um 72,000 units is what he has it there. Um, the biggest one that I was able to find was this one, which is from Kurt. Uh, so on Kurt's channel, he's got a player in his alliance by the name of Ranger, which he spent 100,000 units, basically uh, over 300 banquet crystals were open in this video. It's a long one, uh, worth the watch, but he's the biggest uh, so far uh, opening that I've, I was able to gather and see on YouTube. So he would be basically my milestone pacer. So if I was going to be competing for this, I would definitely want to know, want to be spending more than 100,000 units. Now, the other thing I would do um, after finding a bunch of openings, um, here, here's actually a couple of other ones just to give a couple of shout outs. Um, we have um, Dam Epic uh, opening over 125 uh, of the banquet crystals right here in this video. Uh, he does them in chunks, so go check out the opening. It's really good. Uh, then we also have uh, this person, which I actually, Sammy, MCOC, um, opening up 152 um, is what he has on his title. I think he gets two more added to this uh, from probably Milestones or something. Uh, so definitely go check these channels out. Probably link them here in the description if you're interested in, in just watching those openings. If you have not yet watched them, uh, obviously some big channels, some smaller channels. Um, but I would go and go back to going back to Kurt and use his, um, video of Ranger basically as a placement of what I want to do and how many I want to open when it comes to my competition, trying to shoot for the top 60, top 30 placement. Now these videos were all pretty much published before we had the holiday offers and bundles. And most players were able to pick up between 
30 to like 45,000 units, depending on how many bundles you purchase. Now keep in mind, if you're picking those bundles, and if, you, if these openings were done before those bundles were even picked up, that is just already like, you know, couple of couple of points ahead that they are when it comes to the opening so here's a hundred thousand and we're going to be using ranger as a kind of placement so he's already a hundred thousand before the offers came out right uh unit spent and then there's a roughly uh, let's say another forty thousand units he can get from the event so he let's say he throws because he's competing for like top placement he throws another forty thousand units into the banquet event as well and then whatever he does afterwards which i assume would be another either he matches it with another forty thousand units or maybe maybe a little bit more so calculating roughly all those units, I would say somewhere between 200,000 to 250,000 units is what I would be looking at to try to spend, to, to try to get a placement between the top 60. Um, again, just spitballing some numbers because that is kind of what I'm doing uh, to just try to see who's competing and who I want to go up against and what they have opened so far. That's if I wanted to go for the top 60. Now, um, this right here is what I'm shooting for, right? The top 60 would give you another instant, rank three, um, some Titan crystals, some openings. Um, actually, this is really nice Titan pool crystal selector. Um, you know, obviously we're talking about a ton of units, but um, that doesn't mean like you might be like, Max, I would save those units for other things. But, you know, most, most of these players have completed pretty much all of the content already or they they don't and they're just enjoying the crystals and the openings and shooting for these top placements because they want to be able to get some of these items right so they want to enjoy these and that's all fair because just because i mentioned it in the stream i'm not competing in this event doesn't mean that this event is not good or this event is not going to be a very enjoyable moment to, for players to participate especially if they're shooting for the top placements like top 60 top 30 i think at the end whatever the cost is right involved if i was trying to if i was competing and at the end i i placed in the top four top 30 right here and i got another rank three option generic i was able to open some titan crystals and the selector dude i would be super happy super excited to get and claim this rank rewards once the event is all over there's just no denial on it like if you i mean if it was like 100 units and they said, hey, Max, give me 100 units. Kabam's like, and we'll give you these top 30 placement rewards. Everybody in a heartbeat would do it. Of course, that's not what the cost is because we're talking 200 to 250, if not more, thousands of units spent when it comes to it. Now, um, when it comes to this event, that is just kind of like a rough milestone. I think if you're in that bracket, you're probably guaranteed some of these placements. Um, I don't see that many players, though, just as final disclaimer here towards the end, doing that because um, I went back and looked at a couple of videos. Let me bring one up here. You guys might recognize this man right here, Seton. Um, last year, he was doing these like CEO luck, uh, thousand dollar unit spent, hundred like greater banquet crystals. In the prior years, he was doing like batches of a hundred and a hundred and a hundred. Multiple videos came out. Um, not him, but many other uh, content creators providing. Um, uh, this was, I think, two years ago, and then last year he did something like similar to this, um, but multiple videos from different content creators going ham on the banquet crystals, like batches of 50, 100, 100, 150, 200 crystal or greater, you know, banquet crystals, wow, greater gifting crystals openings. Um, uh, inside of these events. So, I mean, again, this is two years ago. I think that's where this was released two years ago. Yeah. If we look here at the date right here at the bottom. So hundred crystals, you know, no one's doing these kind of openings anymore, uh, this year of 2023. So again, if you're going to be spending, I think that if you just want an idea of a ballpark to shoot for, I would think, uh, when it comes to points, roughly, 2 million points is what we're talking about when it comes to units converting to points between 2 million points. If not, maybe at 2 million points is what probably almost guarantees you one of these spots. Um, I would assume again, this, these are all like assumptions without really knowing what the final results will be. Um, and what, 
we're going to be seeing uh, these top players place. And it's always, it's going to be exciting to cover uh, the names of the players where alliances are. Because keep in mind, not everybody's in a high competitive alliance. But they're competing in the banquet event. There's players that have been saving up for like a year, year and a half when it comes to the banquet event uh, or units. And, and and then on top of that, the units they were able to purchase for this event to make it happen. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Am I somewhere right roughly uh, when it comes to the points you think most players are going to compete with at you know 2 million points? Um, 2.5 million points, 3 million points to shoot for those top placements? Um, or do you think that's a little bit overkill because of what I just said? Like not that many players are actually competing uh, or opening these banquet crystals. I think majority of masses are not. But again, like I said earlier, just keep in mind, you always have summoners that are participating and enjoying these events um, to open, you know, and get a shot at some of these you know, items that are in the crystal, but also the placement, the rank placement at the end of this, the the event. So good luck. We still have a week left. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be tons of other videos of big openings coming out. So keep an eye out on YouTube uh, just to see if anybody releases that. Or, you know, if there's like videos going around in line chats, discords of other players opening big, like 100, 200 crystal openings, 300 crystal openings uh, and seeing what they get. But like I said, that's kind of roughly the homework I would be doing if I was competing for this banquet 14-day event. Good luck. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace.